Hello pals and confidants and welcome to this episode of Accidental House Husband. As you can see, we are in a different venue in our apartment here. We have made our way into the kitchen for a new segment that I like to call What I Made and How I F***ed It Up. This will be recipes that I have pulled from either online databases, online databases, websites, or have pulled from recipe books that I have here in my apartment. It is my hope that you will feel more comfortable by watching me screw up in the kitchen, that you will feel more comfortable about trying some new recipes. It doesn't have to be intimidating. It doesn't have to be difficult. There are a lot of recipes out there that can range from super very easy to intermediate to very advanced. And you really just wanna find out where you are on the comfort comfortability scale and then you also just want to play with it have fun it's very easy you can throw a little bit of extra in this a little bit of extra in that it's a little bit different than baking because baking has to be very precise otherwise that flan is like not gonna rise I don't know if flans rise but it's gonna definitely not work out but in the kitchen you really can add a little bit extra of this that and whatever whatever floats your boat it's really up to you so one thing you want to make sure that you're doing is starting off with all the right ingredients now you might not have every ingredient that comes in a recipe so sometimes you can mix and match if you have have broccoli in your recipe but you don't have broccoli put another green vegetable in there if you don't have any vegetables just leave it out it doesn't really matter you can do whatever you want but you just want to make sure that overall you have the same sort of idea about what you want to achieve what your recipe and your ingredients are gonna be and how to get to that point listen I can make you a whole meal using one tomato half an avocado a pack of ramen noodles and half a cup of skim milk literally can feed four people. So I hope that you will take a little confidence from these videos. Also visit the people that we are getting recipes from. You are gonna hear us talking about them all the time. Our celebrities are the pioneer woman. Uh, we love Skinny Taste, which is where our recipe this evening is gonna be coming from. Gina is a genius and we just really love following her, not only her blog, but her recipes and we have a few of her cookbooks. I have been a huge fan of her books as like this one, her Skinny Taste cookbook. This was her very first cookbook that she uh, uh, released and it is full of amazing uh, recipes that are not available on her website but um, are organized essentially by uh, what you're looking to do. They start with breakfast, they start with appetizers, they move into main entrees and then there are some desserts as well. Now just when you think you haven't had you couldn't get enough of this book she came out with Skinny Taste Fast and Slow which I also of course had to have. This is great for when you are looking to cook a meal in a very short amount of time or if you have have a crock pot. You want to leave your meal going for the whole day. I love crock pot meals because I can throw all the ingredients in in the morning and then it's ready for us when we come home in the evening. Uh, Tommy and I are often working different schedules so it's really great if we can have a meal that's ready to go when he gets home and then a meal that's ready to go when I get home or vice versa. So it's really great. So this has been a lifesaver, uh, the fast and slow book. And you'd think you like all these recipes, what am I going to do? I don't know how to keep them all straight. I don't know what I'm going to do and what I'm going to know when I want to cook things. Oh, but Gina's come up with an genius plan and she has created, boom, <laughs> this skinny taste meal planner. Boom. Now you can take all the meals that she has listed. I'm trying to get it to focus there. Maybe perfect. Boom. Now you can take all the meals that you have um, collected from the website and in her book. Now you might be asking yourself like, I'm not creative enough. I don't know how to put together all of these menus and all these recipes and really plan out the entire week. Well, genius Gina has figured that out for you as well. And she is offering full meal planning systems for you on her website, skinnytaste.com. All of Gina's meals come with Weight Watchers friendly points. So if you're following the Weight Watchers plan, it makes it very easy to know what range you're in and also help just sort of plan your meals. Now this week is actually the first week that we are going through a full weekly plan with Skinny Taste. So we have downloaded our weekly guide. It is has everything including breakfast, lunch, and dinner, anything from homemade bagels to what we're gonna be making this evening, which is going to be our zucchini chicken enchilada wrap-ups. Now for this we have to get a couple of ingredients. It's actually pretty simple. There's a little prep that you can do ahead of time and then just put it all together and pop it in the oven. So let's take a look at what ingredients I had to get and prepare for this recipe. Now for this recipe, I've actually gone ahead and already done a lot of uh, some of the prep work. So what I did was I took uh, some zucchini, which I have right here, and it calls for using a mandolin. It's a long piece of plastic that has a blade in the center and you can just choop, 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 
stuff right over it. Well, I don't have one of those. I would like to own one of them, but I didn't have $30 when I wanted to buy one. So what I actually use is a spiralizer. So I have actually sort of slightly cheated the system and I have taken a spiralizer, which essentially looks like this, boom, boom, boom. And it comes with a couple different blades and you just put it on here and you can put something directly in here and then you just spin this, boom, 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 like that and it will spiralize it. So you can make fries, anything like that. So what I actually did, which is very unsafe and I don't recommend that you do it, but I actually just took the zucchini and then just sort of ran it over the blade like that, which is so terrifying and terrible, but I don't have a mandolin slicer. So I recommend spending $30 and not $30,000 in hospital bills. So that's what I did, but that's not what I recommend that you do. So disclaimer. Now coming in, we're gonna have our zucchinis, which are gonna actually act as the wrap. Uh, so they're gonna be wrapping around. What are they gonna be wrapping around? Boom, we have our chicken. So I, I've already taken our chicken, uh, shredded it and put it in this bowl. Now the recipe actually called for using a rotisserie chicken. I didn't have one of those because I don't have a store nearby that just has rotisserie chickens like on hand. Ba ba ba. I miss Brooklyn. But what I did was I took two chicken breasts. I actually poached them. So I threw them in a pot on the stove, covered them with water and boiled them for five to 10 minutes until they reached 165 degrees internal temperature and just make sure that they're completely cooked. Let them cool, shred them with two forks. Next up, we have our beautiful onions. So just chopped up one small onion, well, sort of medium, size doesn't matter. Chopped it in this uh, little craft dish that we have. Boom, good to go. Next up, we have our garlic. And last but not least in this recipe, we are also going to be using some enchilada sauce. Boom. Now this is currently in a maple syrup dispenser, a La Creuset maple spencer, but it's amazing because you can throw it in the microwave and heat it up. Now this enchilada sauce, you can always buy it from the store, but I actually made this from scratch. Now, once again, I bet you can guess where I got this recipe from. Bum, ba, da, bum. Skinnytaste.com. So she has an amazing recipe on there. So that's gonna start in the bottom of the dish and then it's gonna top all the um, of the rolls. So now it's time to put them together. That's essentially it. Okay, so we've come over to our stove where we have our uh, pan here that has started to warm up. So we're just keeping it on low temperature because right off the bat, we're going to just be sort of browning up some onions and some garlic. So we've got a teaspoon of olive oil that we're gonna be throwing into the pan here. So we're just gonna pour that right in there. Boom, like that. We're also going to be throwing in all of our pre-diced uh, up um, onions, and we also have our pre-minced garlic. Now the garlic, you can just chop it up with a knife, or you can also, I just put it in a garlic press. So one of the things I've invested in is just press, where you just boom, put it in there, and just, great, it just presses it, it's amazing. Great, so we've got everything in here. We're just gonna stir this around now. Really make sure you coat it in that oil because that oil is gonna help it brown up. We're cooking it at a low temperature, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, but you certainly don't wanna burn the onions. You just want them to become like a translucent, more translucent color. They're never gonna be completely clear, but yeah, get the gist. So we'll just let that cook for a minute and then we'll throw in some more of our ingredients. So we have our chicken, which we are gonna put in. So we have our shredded chicken, so that will go, boom, right in there as well. Now we also have some spices. We have one tablespoon of cumin. We have a half a tablespoon of dried oregano and a quarter tablespoon of chipotle chili powder. I actually didn't have chipotle chili powder. I could not find it in the store, so I just am using regular chili powder. Sue me, sorry Gina, but I couldn't find it. So we're just gonna drop all of that Boom, right in there. And then we are going to be using a, a quarter cup of our enchilada sauce. So we are just going to sort of pour that boom right in there. Actually, let's do a little bit more just because I want to. Great, so we've got that in there. I just grabbed a spatula to help sort of ease this along. We're just gonna stir this all together. And we've got now our chicken sort of marinating in that sauce. And our enchilada sauce. And it's mixing in with our onions and our garlic, boom, 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 and our spices. I'm going to put just a little bit more of my sauce in here, because I made plenty and I want to. I mean, you're cooking. You can do whatever the hell you want. You want to put something else in there? You do it. You want more peppers? You do it. I don't care. One time I made a mac and cheese with habanero cheddar. Nobody that ate it could eat it. 
night, but I loved it. I thought it was amazing, but it was obviously probably too hot. So now we're just gonna let this mixture just heat up a little bit, make sure it all molds together, and then we're gonna start spreading it on our zucchini. Great, so now I have pulled the chicken off of the stove, so you can see we have our mixture all together. Now we're gonna be taking another quarter cup of our enchilada sauce, and we're gonna be putting it right here in the bottom of our pan. So we just wanna layer this in there. And essentially this is not only gonna just like spread the love around, it's also going to keep us from having to have this nonsense sticking to the bottom of the pan. Boom. So easy as that. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our zucchini slices. We have them already pre-grilled. Now one thing that I didn't mention earlier, which we have a video that's probably coming up right now, is I've taken these zucchini slices after I julienne them. Well, I guess I don't know what I did to them, but I actually just sliced them on my spiralizer. Took this, threw it on my, my grill pan that was on the stove, since we don't have any outdoor space. And we just take this, we are going to lay it down right here on our plate, and we're gonna take just a couple of tablespoons of this meat and lay it right in the center. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this and we're gonna be wrapping it up right through here. We just wanna make sure, one of the benefits of grilling this ahead of time was that it sort of softened up and gave us these beautiful grill marks. We roll it up just like such, and then we're gonna set it, boom, seam side down. So see how we have a seam on this side and this side is open? We're just gonna set it down right like that. Pick that sucker up, pop her into her final location, boom. So we've got these uh, eight, um, I don't know how many of that is, five? I guess, well, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, ten. okay. Five in each row, that's what I meant. So we have these 10, and these 10 were ones that I pre-grilled and gave them just a little char, and then these ones are all fresh. So they are just raw zucchini. Um, I have them sliced relatively thin because that's what my spiralizer does. All that's up now is to top these with a little bit of our enchilada sauce. So we are essentially going to take the same enchilada sauce that we've been using, and we're just gonna run it over over each one of these. I mean, like, let's be a little bit liberal with it. Ain't no harm. Boom, 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 boom. Not enough for my poor. So I'm breaking out the big dogs. I got my pan that I originally made. See, we're just gonna pour that on top. Boom, a little bit extra. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Mexican cheese and we are going to just top the suckers out of these. Pow. Don't care. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, cause I made this. Great, so now that we have everything rolled and prepared, we are gonna be popping it into our oven. I have preheated the oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna be popping it in there for 20 minutes. Now, before I put it in there, I'm gonna put uh, some um, uh, aluminum foil over the top of it just to really make sure that I seal in that heat. Anytime you have any steam or anything, that's gonna help cook it. So I'm gonna tent this up and pop it in the oven and we'll pull it out in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Okay, so we have essentially got everything nice and melted. They're sliding around a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. So we're just gonna let them sit for a second, but we have a couple finishing touches that we're gonna do before they are ready to be served. The finishing touch, we have some Italian parsley here that we've just chopped up. So essentially just put it down on the chopping board, clock, clock, clock. And we're gonna take this and we're just gonna sprinkle around on top of our zucchini mixture just give it a little green boom 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 beautiful and there you have it our completed uh skinny taste chicken enchilada uh oh sorry zucchini our uh, skinny taste zucchini enchilada roll-ups we have garnished them with a little bit of parsley, as you just saw us chop up on the chopping board and put on top. And then we also just put a little bit of Greek yogurt on top. You know, Greek yogurt is something that we have sort of switched out and started using instead of using sour cream. And honestly, we don't even notice the difference of the taste and we just really enjoy it. So we just put a little dollop right on top. Boom! Three rolls are gonna be one serving size, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about portions, because not only do we wanna be making sure that we're trying to eat a little bit healthy, or at least know what's going into our food and being conscious of that, but also make sure that we're controlling how much we're eating. We don't wanna 
keep eating and eat until our eyes are full. We want to make sure that we're being conscious of our portion control and spreading that out throughout the day. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, our first cooking video. We all made it through it together. I know that I f***ed a couple of things up, but hopefully uh, this will taste good. I'm not going to sit here and taste it in front of you because I think that that's rude, but I feel like you actually should go ahead and give this recipe a try. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good uh, attempt. It looks super edible. It smells delicious. We are going to have a link to this recipe listed down below. Boom. So definitely check out Gina's take on this. Obviously it's her recipe. <laughs> you should really take it from her. Uh, this is just my interpretation. I hope uh, that you have enjoyed watching this recipe. I hope that Gina doesn't mind that I am taking her recipe and just trying it out and sharing it with you all. Uh, but I hope that you will check out her cookbooks, check out her website and make sure you check out anything that she puts out. We are really enjoying her weekly meal plans and if you're looking to try to do some more meal prep and getting things ahead, prepped ahead of time so that way your week is a little easier, definitely check it out. I told you she's amazing, she's great, you're gonna love her. Definitely check her out. If you like this video, make sure that you're subscribing to them so that you know when the new videos are coming out and you can be the first to know by just hitting that bell down below. Just click that bell and it'll notify you once the videos get posted each week. I hope that you're enjoying these videos from Accent House Husband. If you really like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. What do you like to cook? What are you uh, making for your family? And what's really easy and something that I can make really simply? I like it to make it easy. I like it to be easy so much better when it's easy. As always, make sure you live for fun and spread joy and get out there. The days of summer are fleeting. Can't you feel the crisp air? We actually have a thunderstorm rolling through Detroit right now, so we can feel it on the horizon. Make sure you're getting out there and make sure you're prepping for winter. We're gonna have a video coming up about making sure you have all the essential things. You guys out there, we need to make sure that we're protecting ourselves during the winter. So we've got that coming up for you in the future, but I hope that you enjoyed this week and I hope that you're having a great day today and enjoy your weekend. Bye.